Hunt was going rapidly downhill, and his drinking was becoming a problem. In 1989, after winning two rosettes at the Budgerigar World Championships in Doncaster, Hunt went out celebrating. His night out was captured on CCTV. A gentleman approached the door on his own, and he was unsuitably dressed in respect that uh, he'd got a pair of jeans. No jeans, sir. I wouldn't put him in the category as totally out of his tree. But uh, it would, it would certainly had a few drinks. He could smell, he could smell the drink on his breath. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. We just found up about it. The lady from the Swallow Hotel said I had to speak to the receptionist upstairs. About she just, what? About the fact she just phoned to say, could I come in? Well, yeah, I can tell you now, sir. You will not be allowed in this club with jeans on. At that time, I was holding uh, in my hand, in my left hand, um, a cup of freshly made coffee. Well, why don't you just go and ask her? There's no point in asking, because there's no way we're going to let in like that. Well, I'll well, ask no her and make me happy. No. No mother people. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him a cup of coffee was tipped in my face. Get him in! Uh, it scalded and buried on my cheeks and on my eyes. Uh, I did have to have hospital treatment uh, afterwards at the uh, Doncaster Royal Infirmary. Eventually I had to just restrain him and uh, walk him over to a, uh, a police car that was actually over the road at the time. Two police officers came to see me, the arresting officers, and asked me who it was who had assaulted me, and I said I didn't know. I'd not seen him before. They quite jokingly said that I had, and I said, who is it? And they told me it was James Hunt, the racing driver, and none of us recognised him.